Alrighty then, it's time for a Jungle Cane game. Let's get this show on the road. Which one? And this one is up against a Jungle Udir, so it's a pretty much a farm jungler game. And I will state in the very beginning, he makes kind of a crucial mistake. And I do want to go over the trial of junglers for some people who don't know, because there's going to be a lot of that in this game. So, I'm going to start off red, and I'm then going to go to my chickens real quickly. And, but that's when the mistake occurs. So... Uh, one of the things with jungle farming is that you, if you're going to be a farm jungler, you don't waste time. And he stole my blue, and that's not the worst play if you're going to go control, but he's doing from my blue to his red to then his blue. And that slows you down a lot, because you're leaving all these jungle camps unkilled and not respawning. So I know this, and I'm going to go clear my little froggy, and I was going to go invade him, but the ribbon is like showcasing that she has a contempt for her life, so she burns all her abilities, making her such an easy target, I immediately go in there and pretty much kill her. Rather easily too, first blood. Then I go get the Skoto Crab, because obviously, and then I'm going to invade him. And interestingly enough, the Udra is barely showing up, which in level 3, and makes him really weak against me because I got to rank up in, uh, in one of my abilities, and I chunk him down a lot. And this is big, because now he's forced to go home and recover, which allows me to steal his farm. He'd only be here if his farm was still alive. So I go and take it, and gives me a huge advantage. And I will give him a bit of a credit because of how he responds to this. So I take his chickens, and after this I'm going to go home to secure my monsters because I feel that he might want to invade me, obviously, since he would know I would steal his jungle camps. So I don't know if this was like a natural thing he was going to do anyways, you know, to get the dragon, or he's doing this because he knows he's got nothing else to clear, but he goes off and gets the dragon, and the kudos to that is pretty much a good, uh, smart decision. And at that point, uh, here's one of the things I wanted to point out about the Triad of Junglers. So everybody who knows long ago, this is not too relevant anymore because jungle far, uh, the jungle triad has been pretty much dead and buried. But control loses to farm, gank beats farm, and control beats ganking. And if it's two farm junglers, you're obviously just gonna you know do your own thing and try to ignore the opponent. But if you focus on controlling, you're gonna lose to a farm jungler because farm junglers do not care what you're doing about you know keeping them down because it's harder to keep him down than it is you know. Uh, keep down a ganker so if he tried to invade me or control me or whatever i'm just gonna farm a lot and farm junglers lose to gankers because they expose their teammates to a lot of threat now here's where jungle cane becomes a big deal against someone like udir if the udir spends all his time farming and all his time trying to you know take objectives and whatnot he leaves his teammates to getting killed and as such, I've been able to kill them, mostly not to his fault, really, because they've been pushing out a lot, and I just happen to show up and be in a good spot and kill them. But at the same time, I'm maintaining my farm really well. I'm still keeping up with the Udyr, and that's a big deal. I mean, you can see that our goal difference is not too much yet, but it's going to start ramping up because I'm presenting a threat to his team. And if you were to compare the farm, you know, for some of the members of his team, it's going to become a lot more crucial. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep tabs on, like, the aggressive champion, champions, and I'm only really going for farm, or I mean ganks, if the farm's already dead. So I'm not wasting a lot of time. And again, I'm mostly keeping up with the Udyr. So, one other main thing here is, I'm going to evolve Rost. I can already evolve, uh, I can already evolve into Anime Kane, or I'm going to be able to evolve right after this one, actually. It's a pretty good gank. Go in there, deal quite a bit of damage to both of them, and you know teleport or I mean flash smite on the on the Kaiza, and that should gets me uh, anime cane. But I cannot become anime cane because the amount of benefits I get from getting becoming Ross for this game is insurmountable. Ross is a million times better than blue cane in this matchup. They have Riven and they have Udir, just two champions that get schooled by Ross, especially Udir. And obviously, someone has to interrupt Katarina. Like I said, right now, the Udyr is focusing a lot on taking objectives and just farming. That's why he's still 0 and 0. 0, 0, 0. And I'm killing people. So, I'm starting to get a little bit of head, although he's keeping his team up, uh, you know, with more benefits. But, this is where farming junglers start losing to gankers. I get to run, I've been running amok. And as a result, my team is now able to beat their lane counterparts, or at least whatever. At this point, you would figure that the Udyr should start getting involved, but he's not. He's just going to be focusing on farming to the point where he's now outpacing me. But again, also, I do love this kill against Katarina. She flashes, and I still, you know, alter anyways. 
at this point, you know, she's they're losing a lot of ground. And hilariously, it opens him up to getting counter ganked because there's nobody else to help him out. Go in and kill him. And almost poetically, his death is what gives me Rost. However, though, like I said, I'm not going to pass up on any farm. So I, even though I can become Rost, I go kill the, the wolves, the frog, and then the ribbon getting aggressive again. I kill her too. Push the lane a little bit, getting this farm. And then I go get the Skoto Crab. Or, or attempt to get the Skoto Crab. Udyr steals her from under me. But yeah, and then... I transform into Ross. Now this is a humongous deal. The like I said earlier, the enemy team cannot deal with me as Ross. Their front line is food for me. My interrupts is going to destroy a lot of them, which is why I leveled up the W first rather than the Q. And the amount of damage I can do, and I know I do have an item advantage and a goal advantage, is insane. Essentially put, nobody on the enemy team can hope to face me. And again, the replays are still having problems, so you can see some really bad cuts. I love this gank. I go down, I focus on the Thresh, but then the Kaiza, I thought she would run away more, leaves herself open, and I ult, and she takes the lantern and brings me to the Thresh just to get him killed too. It's pretty heart uh, disheartening. I probably should share kills, but nah. Anyways, I go after Udyr, knock him up, do quite a bit of damage. He stuns me, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to flash, and with the very tip of my W, hit him, and then kill him. At this point, his farming just did a disservice to him. You could, you saw that I got all this farm from the lane, from all this excess stuff, you know, after killing him and whatnot. But he just pretty much focused purely on farming. And because of all my kill, my rampaging, I just do way more than him now. I have way more gold than him. This is one of those things I always try to tell or drill to people. If you just tunnel vision and you do just, you know, you, you think you do, you think you... You're doing what you think you should be doing rather than what you sh actually should be doing. It can hurt you a lot. Again, it doesn't do you any help. It doesn't do you any service to not understand why certain things are done. What I feel you know, when I was fighting this guy, not to say that some of his decisions were bad, but I felt that the Udyu was playing how he thinks Udyu should be played rather than how the game itself should have been played. When he saw the bad matchup in terms of Ross versus him, like he should have realized that I would probably go Ross. He should be shouldn't be building the way he was building, damage and whatnot. It would just make him super easy for me to destroy in any one on one fight. Like he wouldn't be able to. He would burst me, but then I would recover, run around circles on him, and then kill him. He should have realized that. You know, he should help out his lanes the second he started seeing me pop in there. If he counter ganked, it would have been really easy for them to just destroy me. Especially if I ganked the Riven and he showed up. Both of them should have been able to bring me down. But now because he failed to do so, I'm able to run amok and pretty much spell the end of his team. Again, they really cannot do anything. This is a game that is lost. The only way we would lose at this point is if we mess up. But you saw, my lanes weren't winning, or they were mostly either tied, or in fact, some of them were losing. It was when I got involved a lot and wasn't being checked that it everything turned around. And now that I became Ross, it's just like, they can't do very much. I mean, Uyur finally gets a kill, and it's against Aniko, who kind of killed her teammate, or her lane opponent, and, you know, was then just kind of cherry-picked. And hell, if you saw the minimap during that time, she was kiting Uyur to hell and back. So it wasn't like even a kill that you kind of deserved to get. So yeah, at this point, it's it just sort of it sort of it should rear onto you that stuff like that isn't exactly good if you're not understanding what you should be doing. And even if you do understand it, you should be open to changing your mind midway through the game if things are not going your way. Not just sort of like double down on it. At this point, you can see what can Udyr do. And it's also one of the reasons I don't like Uju too much is because he doesn't really have a lot of malleability and cannot change his playstyle too easily to reflect uh, the ongoings of the game. But yeah, the enemy team, they can't do anything. They are literally just there to lose now. The Udyr is also extremely useless at recovering from this, so there's not much he can do except, you know, wait to lose. So... Obviously, we, we just destroy these towers with ease. One of them gets a little too close. So we destroy them. And then the rest of them just kind of flounder about. And they know they lost. At this point, it's about just you know getting cherry picks and padding your score. Katarina gets close and I kill her. And I get a little bit more padding to my score. But yeah, 16-0-3. It's extremely good score. And 
I know it's a snowball-y one, but it showcased a lot of things for the jungle. So it's a pretty good upload, too. So, anyways, hooray for Kane, hooray for Rost, and oh dear. And if you like this video, remember to give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell up there somewhere so you actually get notifications to my videos because YouTube and stuff.